Hi there, and thanks for watching Sound Booth Tutorials. If you feel I've taught you some cool or useful techniques over the past few years, which have enabled you to make better mixes, you can show your support by donating a dollar, five dollars or more to Sound Booth Tutorials and enable me to continue bringing you great content. Even one dollar in show of your support would make a huge difference. I've also set up a Facebook page where you can ask me questions about music performing, recording, producing, engineering and mixing. I'll do my best to answer all posts. I also encourage the community to work together to help each other. I hope to see you there. Also for exclusive content, including extended videos, please head over to All Buttons In and remember to subscribe. Hi folks, and welcome to another Sound Booth tutorial. Today we're going to look at getting a bass guitar to cut through a mix. Uh, and this is a quite dense mix. This is, um, once again, A Place For Us by Carlos Gonzalez, who is very kind to allow me permission to use this. So looking specifically at the bass at the moment, I'll just explain what's gone on before you see these audio tracks here. So this is quite heavily limited and compressed before it gets to this point, which is why there's no plugins on it. And this was also EQ band passed so that a lot of the top end came through. If I was to guess, I'd say anything above 300. The reason to have this track here is because this one is quite dense and thick and carries a lot of bass energy, but it doesn't cut through. Now, we could put an EQ on it, but what I find with EQ is that it doesn't quite cut it. It certainly doesn't always cut through the mix, and it's not dynamic, and it changes the tone for the entirety of the performance, whereas if I want a bit of grittiness here and there, I can change that with a parallel track, which I'm about to show you. So the upper bass track, as you can see, we've got an EQ, we've got a gate, sans amp and we've got a vst plugin called g clip and i'll go through them let's just have a listen to what we've got i'll bring it to a section in the song where you can actually hear what's going on If we now take that away, you have a listen to the bass just disappears. And again with it in. It's really important that we're able to hear that bass in there. And one of the ways that we can do that is by enhancing the front end of the notes that it's playing. So our second track here is there to enhance our perception of the bass. The bass without it can't be heard as clearly. And whilst there's not a lot of bass on this track, if we have a listen to it, you'll see that there's actually not much bass at all. But somehow it enables us to perceive the bass guitar in that very dense mix. Alright, so I'll just kill all of these effects. Here it is completely on its own. So as you can hear, there's not much bass in there at all. And combining it with the original,
it makes it sound nastier. But what I really like about it is it's dynamic. It's not putting all of that nastiness in. Um, and that's because we've got this gate here. So I'll just go through what we've got. If we go back to just the EQ, we've got a bit of enhancement around 1K, quite a bit of a lift here, and everything more or less cut off under 500. Uh, let's have a listen to just that. And when we add in the gate, we don't get all that noise that's going on in between. It's popping in and out over the top of the other bass guitar, which makes it feel a bit more dynamic. Next, we've got the Sans amp, which I've absolutely cranked the EQ of. Let's have a listen to that. It's just smoothing out those transients a little bit so they're not too nasty and also adding a bit of crunch to it. Uh, lastly, we've got this plugin which I use quite frequently called G Clip, which is just a clipper, a soft clipper. So you can adjust this to change the way that it clips, um, basically. So with that in and out, it sounds like this. more or less just there to add a bit more grit and round off those transients a little bit more. It's also adding some level and it's obviously it's clipping it with a bit of a soft clip. And so if we listen to it back in context of the mix, it adds quite a nice texture and makes the bass nasty cutting through the mix and uh, we can hear it a lot better. So here it is in the last chorus and I'll pop it in and out so you can hear the differences. Let you down before, and that I've hurt you bad. I know that's only one I got it, but I can swear I'll try to turn the world upon. If that's a way to find you and a place for us to fall back down, a place for us to fall asleep and sound. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, happy mixing. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for new tutorials, or require mixing services, please email me at yamahadrums2009 at hotmail.com, and please subscribe to remain informed of future video releases.